Hello, and welcome back to another episode of White Album 2, where we are currently playing through Coda. And Kazusa is desperately trying to tell Haruki that they need to break up because he is no longer himself. He has become a shell of his former self. He's abandoned everything and everyone he loves. And it's pretty sad, so let's just continue on through it. The world made for us two had already disappeared, and the world where everyone else lives had come back to us. ちょっと。なんか、いつも Through. I pull a handkerchief out of my pocket and hand it over to the person sitting next to me who can't stop crying. <laughs> the two pieces Kazusa played truly sounded as if she had been possessed by God. Though I suppose that's just the evaluation of an amateur, and at the very least, it was enough to amaze one. <laughs> and on top of that, Setsuna's thoughts are the exact same as during the contest back then. And Satsuma's thoughts right now are the exact same as mine. No matter how much time Kazusa spent with me, in the end, she never let me hear her play the piano. She would always laugh and say that she would only let me hear her play during the concert so she could amaze me. She said this with a hint of playfulness and the slightest bit of loneliness. Well, she has succeeded. You are amazing. But right now I have no choice but to recognize the weight behind those words. Because this song is all it takes to understand that we live in completely different worlds. Kazusa must have kept this wonderful thing hidden away so she would be able to enter the world for us too. Because if I ever heard this sound, I probably would have let go of my embrace around Kazusa. Because she's 
so leagues above you in many ways. I would hesitate to corrode Kazusa's talent in my dark, bleary world where the sun never shines, when she lives in a world so much broader than mine. And yet, Kazusa is deliberately showing us her true ability right now. No, she's showing us something more than her true ability. You and I simply aren't meant for each other. She's delivering her ironic, tearful message to me. With her own strong will, she's departing from the world where the two of us had stagnated alone. And honestly, kudos to Kazusa. Like, she's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and it's also her hidden attempt to express her guilt and regret toward the woman who's sitting right next to me with tears overflowing in her eyes. She's trying to say that there's nothing between me and herself. Her performance is trying to convey that she's not in a position to go on a romantic trysts with me, and she doesn't have the time for it either. It's a futile attempt to conjure up an alibi. She's presenting her own miserable solution, which she believes is the worst for everyone, but also one that would not end up hurting anyone. I wanted to lash out at her for being unfair. Why would you bring up Setsuna's name now? I almost pressed that question in anger. Weren't you the one who pulled me away from her in the first place? Well, to be fair, kind of. But she thought you would be okay, and she kind of hoped you would give up Setsuna, but you didn't do that. You weren't okay, you couldn't remain stable. So in the end, yeah, you didn't choose her, so she's letting you go. She's letting you go back. Weren't you the one who took advantage of my wavering feelings? Weren't you the one who made me unable to live without you? Yet, there was no point in saying that. Because everything happened according to my will. And Kazusa's responsibility for what happened is long gone. Despite that, I'm sure that Kazusa blamed everything on herself, acknowledged her sins, and is trying to accept her punishment. Honestly, true. He pretended that he wasn't with Setsuna, he pretended that him and Setsuna didn't have a history, and that was fine. So, like, now the script is flipped. <laughs> It wasn't a lie. 
Or at least, it wasn't supposed to be. I'm covered in nothing but lies. What she's trying, what she's saying is beyond cruel, yet she doesn't speak a single word of condemnation toward me, which only makes her strike more painful. Rather than condemning me, she takes my side. Like that, she gives me yet another wound that will never heal. Because he's never gonna get punished. He really is broken. It's so oh man. He in front of others, not in the world made for us too. Despite that, I let out a loud sob. それができるのは刹那だけだ。思いの差なんかじゃない。気持ちの強さだけなら負けない。負け惜しみだけど。because I finally understood that I can't bring myself to contradict Kazusa's resolve. She really would, that's the thing about Kazusa, she feels so powerfully, but it goes beyond just loving him. She loves him so much that she wants what's best for him. And that's where it gets elevated into a level where I really, really respect this decision coming from Kazusa. Because even though she can't be in his life, she still gives him this. It's just so sad. Because I finally understood that in the world made for only us two, only I remain. ただ自分にできることをするだけで。それだけでお前を救える。お前に安らぎを与えられる。Because I finally understood that Kazusa is right. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> that line is so good. 
気持ちだけじゃできないことはある私はそれを今までの人生で頑張ってこなかった身につけてこなかった<笑>ここに来てそのツケが回ってきただけだ。
But even that hand was gently holding on to my hand. I bet she's dying to applaud herself, but she's prioritizing watching over me. She's so nice. Oh my god, she's too nice. <laughs> Just like Kazusa said, she's trying to save me. The boundless kindness Setsuna has is deceiving Setsuna herself and is bringing forth my dark heart that's trying to betray her. It makes me want to bring her to hell with me. Don't say it. お前は何も言わなければ私たちの間には何もないんだ。また数さんに会えてよかった。また3人が同じ場所に集まれてよかった。Oh, <laughs> no. It's not as good a thing as you're making it out to be. Just as Kazusa said, just as Kazusa wanted. Don't waste Kazusa's sacrifice, that she's ruined herself. Today is the anniversary of our reconciliation. I'm supposed to remove everything I've done in the past few days from my memories and restart. He's not wrong. I shake myself free from Setsuna's hand. I shake myself free from Setsuna's words. Tell her this in a public place, like, just, oh, God. <sighs> I'm glad he said it, but my God, why? <sighs> Why'd you do it in the first place? <sighs> the end of the third piece signaled the first half of the concert over and Kazusa left the stage for a 10-minute break. From the people leaving the theater to those remaining in their seats, there is a sense of amazement in the air, and the theater becomes unusually noisy. <laughs> in the middle of that commotion, we sat in complete silence for a while, 
as if the wave of excitement completely went over our heads. So, so that the look. I mean, it's not that hard to figure out why you would suddenly disappear just as Kazusa arrives in Japan. Until I forced out my words in hesitation. After I made my resolution and told Setsuna, she tried to interrupt me. And once I was done telling her, she was not surprised, and neither did she try to laugh it off. Because she knew everything. She saw through every single one of my lies. Kazusa, your effort was pointless from the start. Setsuna knew everything. She was only pretending to not know anything. My charade, Kazusa's deception. For Setsuna, who was always looking at us, always worrying about me. For Setsuna, who always loved me. Those words, Setsuna's shoulders suddenly start to shake. Because she probably realized that Kazusa and I rejected a reunion between the three of us, that we cast Setsuna out. Dude. そんなの分かってる。Okay. There are things you say and things you don't say. Oh my god. You admit to cheating on her, that's great. You tell her that you're thinking of someone else while making love to her, absolutely you are a despicable human being because that will stick with her for the rest of her life, guaranteed. Doesn't matter how many guys she goes through, doesn't matter if she's alone, doesn't matter if she's with you, she's gonna remember this forever. What a horrible piece of crap. <laughs> And honestly, shame on Setsuna for putting up with it. She is dumb as a rock sometimes. I love her, but she is so dumb. <sighs> so mad. Setsuna's grip on my hand grows tighter. Setsuna's grip on my hand grows tighter. 
できなくなってたんだ。Suddenly, I feel the sensation of nails piercing my skin. But in the end, Setsuna is still Setsuna. She's unable to put any force into it, and thus doesn't cause me any real harm. She can't bring herself to condemn me. She can't bring herself to acknowledge my sin. On the contrary, she's accepting the situation in a way that's completely wrong by thinking the fault lies with her. God, she's so stupid. Ever since that day at the airport five years ago. <laughs> That's why, rather than to condemn me for my sin, rather than to lament my treatment of her, she focuses on worrying about me. Just as Kazusa worried about my life ahead over her own feelings. I'm sure that Kazusa wanted to tell that to Setsuna without exposing the truth. But in the end, I even stomped on that last desire of hers and remained truthful to Setsuna to the very last detail. In doing so, I might have done something even more despicable. You can't ever read the mood. I hear Kazusa's exasperated voice telling me that. <laughs> And Setsuna. <laughs> Absolutely, you don't deserve the right to choose. She'll gladly cry over Kazusa's piano, but she protects herself to no end from the cruel truth laid before her. This isn't the proper reaction of a woman who just got betrayed. Those naive and direct eyes that no one can blame me for getting fed up with. For getting angry at in return. Those criminally gentle eyes that almost give me a misguided sense of hope. Oh god, he did. He absolutely did. There is something wrong with this girl, like actually wrong. How? How do you forgive someone to this extent? Why? だって、どんな答えを返したところで、俺が切な裏切ったことに変わりないだろう。そうかもね。それで答えは。だから、どうして。参考に聞いてみたかっただけ。別に 
聞いたからどうってことはないよ答えあそれ Of course, I can't answer that question. After all that has happened, I can't answer in a way that lets me cling on to Setsna. If my feelings were for one person alone, then I wouldn't have suffered as much as I have. Whenever I met Setsna, whenever I embraced Setsna, the image of Kazusa always forced its way into my head. It wasn't only once or twice that I heard Setsuna's gentle voice calling out to me when I was alone with Kazusa and when I was making love to Kazusa. That's why I closed off my heart. I broke myself. That's why I did what I did to Setsuna. Of course, I can't bring myself to say that. It would be nothing else but the remark of a defeated man. <laughs> Setsuna puts her right hand tightly around her left hand, as if trying to hide her ring finger. Her ring finger. God, I hate this stupid guy so much. I hate to leave off there, but I think that's a good place to leave off. Because <laughs> I'm so upset. Ugh. Okay. So, thank you for joining me for this train wreck of an episode. And I'll be back with the next one shortly. So until then, hope you take care. See you.